Welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of I, the Somnium Files. In the last episode, we interrogated both Ota and Miami, and we could probably say with 90% confidence that they they probably didn't do the crime, even though they are wholeheartedly confessing to doing the crime. So we have to find some more evidence, which may come from the taxi driver that took Mayumi to the cold storage warehouse, because as we found out, um, the kidnapper took the van. There's no way Mayumi could have been the kidnapper. Ota took the station wagon, and Mayumi had to get there through some other means. What does the van say? <laughs> so it was almost certainly, so almost certainly not her. Okay. There's like more stuff to investigate. <laughs> Stat containers. If I put that corner container in an empty slot, would the bottom line disappear? Stat containers. Okay, I guess I missed a few things to investigate. Alright, I think that is everything of importance though, so let us go to Lemniscate. Where the taxi driver is supposed to be. Lemnus Skate Tuesday, 1.36 p.m. Hey, got a minute? Is this the dude? Hmm, are you talking to moi? <laughs> uh, he certainly has a look. Moi? And some weird verbal quirks. Date, now is not the time to be distracted by this old man's diction. Mind if I ask you what you're doing here? Moi? I am but a humble taxi cab driver. <laughs> Can you please stop talking like that? There we go. Well, I'm with the police. <laughs> I have some questions for you. Alright. Driver. Let's look at everything else. Like the receptionist. Oh. Oh, <laughs> we can talk to her from, <laughs> we're like talking to her from like all the way back of the sofa. Like, hey, hey over here. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Is it business as usual here? What? You gotta come closer. I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, we just, we just go over <laughs> like, see you later, driver. Well, what can I say? You know, the biz is harsh, schedules are tight. <laughs> I like how we just like, hi. Hi, taxi driver. I gotta question you. Hang on a second. I gotta go talk to the receptionist with big tits. If we shut down for even a date, we'd throw everyone else's schedules off. So they want to avoid that, of course. Can I keep talking to her? Do I just like keep getting up off the sofa? About Iris. What? You're too far away. I can't hear you. I walk closer to the receptionist. It's like, seriously, can you not? Mm. What if I'm next? Freaks me out. I don't think you're involved in this. Date, could you introduce me to some big, strong man who can protect me? And it becomes all about dating. Nah. Uh, I'm sure you'll be fine on your own. No, I'll totally die. <laughs> no. Anything you can knock them out with your big knockers. A reception desk. It's her with the big tits. I didn't look at her yet. <laughs> okay, do you want to get some food sometime? Huh? I can't hear you. I walk closer to the receptionist. Oh, you asked me out before, didn't you? But it's kind of complicated. I told you, I am reptilian. But. You were just joking, right? No, I'm serious. I only eat vegetables. Okay. <laughs> She's just a little bit ditzy and needs to correct her vocabulary. <laughs> I am fairly sure she means vegetarian. <laughs> Alright, so she, <laughs> she doesn't she doesn't mean what she says. 
Uh, let's look at everything else. The company's logo, Lemniscate, abstract painting. There is an abstract painting displayed on the wall. Oh, have you taken note of the painting? What do you think it is? It is titled, Lions Fishing Carpe Diem. Everyone thinks it's something else. There's an incomprehensible abstract painting displayed on the wall. A potted plant. Dante, look, an ant lion. Yay, go ant lion. Mm. Iba has a strange fascination with insects. I don't think I've ever seen like an ant lion outside of a Final Fantasy game. A potted plant. That Final Fantasy just makes it seem terrifying. A large window. A sofa. Sofa king. Don't. Ugh. Trying to do some wordplay here. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, so fucking. <laughs> it's like a. There's like a fa place. I've seen where it's like called fucking. Like you know what they were trying to say. There's a low table in front of the sofa. How about the high table? A high table. A high stool. A high stool. A high stool. It's like a tall seat. Why are you stating the obvious? Why are they so obsessed with this high stool? <laughs> high stool is placed on the table. How about the door? A door. There's probably an office back there. Ah, this is Magnus Spiel. How do you know? Magnus Spiel's promotional video is playing, apparently. That was just like the same images, just on loop. <laughs> Don't know who's who. A vending machine full of drinks. A magazine rack. Lots of magazines in that rack. Feature. Anyone can run a pyramid scheme. I believe I'll purchase that on my way home. <laughs> Okay. Just gotta, you just gotta put yourself at the top of the pyramid and just enjoy that that free money. Da, da, da. Okay. I think that is every item except for the driver. A self-employed taxi driver. Uh, let's see. What? What's going, what is he doing here? Why is he at Lemniscate? I have just finished conveying my client from Tameke Sano's studio. Conveying? I was informed that the visit here would be brief, and thus I have decided to wait in this lobby. All right, uh, where are you from? I was born in Kowago, Saitama. <laughs> Does that place have that sort of diction? The way you talk? And why do you talk like that? I don't know what you mean. I've spoken this way all my life. My parents speak with the same vernacular. Um, you watch like too many movies or something? Alright, about Mayumi. Before I arrive at Lemniscate, I got a picture of Mayumi from Abyss. I showed it to the driver. Did you drive this passenger on Sunday night? Oh, I did indeed. I remember her well. The old hag. No, oh, that's mean. Old hag. I took her on a tour of the streets of Tokyo. Our ultimate destination was the warehouse district in Ariake. Why didn't you report this to the police? Report it? You don't know about the incident at the cold storage warehouse? It was all over the news. No, I'm afraid not. Newspapers and television news programs have never been much of an interest to moi. Alright, well, I'll give you that. Like, not everyone keeps up with, like, current events. But a little bit suspicious still. Um, okay. Uh, describe what happened with Mayumi. Hmm. I recall it was around 10 in the evening. Near the Kabasaki district, an unassuming restaurant named Matsushita Diner. That's where I picked up the old hag. And as soon as she stepped foot in my conveyance, she was already barking orders at me. Well, she was in a hurry. Follow that van, hurry! 
I must admit, I found it rather exciting, just like an old chase film. I, of course, insisted that I be paid up front. We pursued the van for roughly half an hour. Uh. Suddenly, the van came to a halt at a convenience store. It's pretty far, <laughs> traveling for 30 minutes. The Famisto along Koshu, right? I guess it depends on traffic, though. Precisely right. I am surprised you know that. In any case, I knew that the jig would be up if we were seen following the van. So I decided to drive past it. I parked at the 8th store, but 100 yards from there, while waiting for the object of our pursuit to make its next move. The old hag suddenly spoke up. I have to buy something, she declared, then made her way into the 8th. Mm. Did she have, like, a moment where she forgot what she was doing? This must be when Mayumi bought the Odoroki Man chocolate. A few minutes later, the old hag finished making her purchases and walked out. And then, at that very moment, I witnessed the van jet off at great speed down Koshu. I hurried the old hag inside my vehicle, then resumed the chase. We followed them for roughly half an hour more. That's a long little escapade you did there. I see. If the driver's story is correct, Mayumi did not know that Oto was left behind at the Famista. Mayumi thought Oto was in the van the whole time. Alright, let's listen to the rest of the story. We then arrived at a splendid manor. A manor? What? The van entered the premises through the front gate and disappeared from view. Okay, we have... Alright, that's, that's really suspicious that they stopped somewhere else on the way to the warehouse. We, of course, could not follow, so we waited outside. I estimate another ten minutes passed. The front gate opened once again, and the van drove out, and we pursued. But thirty minutes later, our pursuit was foiled again. What happened? The van drove into the restricted Kawasaki district. The old hag, of course, demanded that I follow. Hmm. But I was not about to risk my license and livelihood. Okay. I'm trying to like, trying to like pinpoint where like everything is to relation to relation to each other. Like, like where is that warehouse in relation to the Kawasaki district? Instead. <laughs> I parked on the road and waited for the van to drive back the way it came. Ah, but of course, we knew it might not take the same road back. In fact, we were not even sure the van would be coming back at all. But the old hag was not keen on giving up, so we began our stakeout. Alright, uh, let's keep listening. About 45 minutes later, the date had changed at this point. It was 12.25 a.m. on Monday. Jeez, it must have been like, hopefully making bang for waiting around that long. How do you remember the time so well? Well, you see, I always keep my radio dial on the same station. Suppose he's a taxi driver too. Don't they like get paid like based off time? Well, depending. I remember precisely which programs were playing during this endeavor. Some some pay by time, others pay by like distance. <laughs> There's some there were like some scummy taxi drivers that would that would, that used to like take big old detours to try to like get more money. Even though like you know like you just need to go this way. It's like it's a more direct route. <laughs> I think nowadays with like GPS, you can't really do that like everyone knows everyone knows uh the distance to their destination thus i can approximate the time i see please continue at 12 25 a.m the old hag's tenacious gamble paid dividends the van returned down the same street and thus we again made pursuit i wonder if they noticed the taxi that's been following them for hours I kept considerable distance. We had come so far, I did not want to get caught now. Okay, so they, they kept that in mind. 
but my caution backfired. I lost sight of the van in the RERK warehouses. Without so much as a thank you, the old hag popped open the door and took off toward the warehouses. I waited for some time, but the old hag did not return. The goose was cooked at this point, so I made the decision to return home. I am glad I had the foresight to ask for payment in advance. Alright, I have one more question. I follow your story. I have one more question. Where is this manor the van stopped at? Oh, every taxi driver in the city knows that residence. It is the personal home of Congressman So Sejima. Okay, another connection to So. Sejima? Why did the van go to So's house? Okay, it's looking very suspicious that they paid him a visit very close to when Iris was attacked. We need to speak with him immediately. Agreed. Let's move. All right. That's it. I guess we are just going to the Sejima residence. Yeah, let's go. Back here again, maybe you'll receive some more answers. We didn't get much from So last time. He's a very good liar. Alright, on Sejima Residence on Tuesday, 2.21 p.m. There's no one here. Hmm. Indeed. I don't see So or his bodyguards. I do not detect them either. Oh, wait. Are they not home? Let's go inside. Hey, Iba. Do you smell something funny? Oh. Wait. Is this when this happens? Remember in the last route? Where Peter said they found So's remains in the vase in his house? You are aware that I do not possess the sense of smell, correct? I mean, but you can analyze, like, those compounds, right? Oh, right. Oh no. I'm gonna look at everything else first. A folding screen. We haven't been in this house yet. We've only been outside his house. Got a chair. There's a cushion on top of the chair. Does look like these are the kind of tables that are on the floor. An expensive looking table in the middle of the room. It's made out of real wood. A wall scroll, a hanging scroll. Alright, let's look at the vase. There's something strange about this vase. Ugh. What is it? This is definitely where the smell is coming from. Oh, the top is like bolted on. Is there something inside? Maybe. But the opening is covered by a metal plate. They really kept that thing closed. The lid is fixed with a bolt. It will not open easily. Yeah. Then, as is standard procedure... I need a way to see inside. Well, let's get Iba's x-ray vision. <laughs> no. What the? When was he killed? Dante, destroy the vase! 
Got it. <laughs> Should we contact the police before we like meddle with the evidence? Like we know he's in there and not alive. So there's no need to break it, is there? Yuck. There was a... There was a... So Sejima? Okay. There was probably a better way to open that. Uh... Ah... Uh, when did he die? Ah, uh, look at the vase shards. Fragments of the broken vase. This is an absolute mess. Uh, let's take a look at his body, I guess. So his body. Cut into pieces. Uh, is that it? Let's take a look at his head. That is the head of So Sejima. The left eye is hollowed out. Just like the other victims. This is most likely a crime committed by the new Cyclops killer. Do you have an estimated time of death? Today. Sometime between 11 a.m. and noon. That's... that's... that... what? <laughs> that... That soon? That... <laughs> what? That's about when I was talking to Ota at Matsushita Diner. Well, at least Ota has an alibi, but how is this... How are... how is the killer, like, moving around so fast? And like undetected. At that time, Mayumi was in police custody and Iris was in the ICU of Central Hospital. Well, that crosses them off as suspects because they have an alibi. They have not moved. That means Ota, Mayumi, and Iris couldn't possibly have committed the crime. Assuming that this is the work of a single killer, those three can be eliminated from the list of suspects. Yeah, it could be like the old Cyclops killer where they had a partner. Ota, Mayumi, and Iris are not the new Cyclops killer. Right. Ugh. All right, let's take a look at the head again. By the way, why is there no one in the mansion? Right, where? Why is there no one here? You think there'd be like maids or like the bot? What happened to the bodyguards? I thought the bodyguards were in charge of so safety. No bodyguards, no housekeepers. I do not know. Did, like, someone call them away? The So have family? So Sejima's wife died in labor 30 years ago, giving birth to their son. Their son is currently living abroad. So lived here alone? Do you find that suspicious? No, just... Hmm. Date, a call from Pewter. Well, just in time. Connect me. Look what I found, Pewter. Date, the sync machine is up and running. Oh, good. By the way. You can sync with Mayumi now. Oh, thanks, Pewter. Can you send a cleanup crew to the Sejima residence? But there are more pressing matters now. Did something happen? Yeah, I found So Sejima's body. Then we kind of splattered it all over the wall, sorry. With the left eye hollowed out. What? I'm at the Sejima household. Send the investigation team over. Why so? Hmm. What? Do you know So, Pewter? I can answer your questions when I get back to Abyss. I don't like how he was kind of like flabbergasted, but by okay, we'll see where this where that goes. Got it. Date, what is your plan? Where's boss? Wait until crime scene investigation arrives. No, there's something I need to do. 
If that taxi driver was telling the truth, Naomi was at the warehouse yesterday. Yeah, she's... Maybe she saw her memories? She dropped the chocolate in the warehouse, so she might have seen something. Maybe not the bodies, but maybe like the pre-setup? And we know the chocolate we found at this scene was hers. Maybe she saw something. Maybe she knows something we don't. Some kind of clue or information about the culprit. Then... Yeah. We're gonna sink with Mayumi. Oh, well, gotta do what we can we can do, right? Oh, is that it? Let's see what the investigation squad finds out. All right, let's go to Abyss headquarters. I gotta blow my nose. Alright, Tuesday, 3.09 p.m. at the police headquarters. Dante, a large scale <laughs> investigation of Sosejima has already begun. At this very moment, the media is already swarming outside the building. Really? Doesn't matter. The sink is what's important. If we sink into Mayumi's brain, that might help us find the real culprit. I understand. Are you ready? Yeah. Then, let's begin. Alright, what are we gonna find in Mayumi's head? She has dementia, so... What is her dream going to be like? Very expansive. Where? Where is this? Uh. Oh, silly me. This is my house. Oh, it's only a piece of it, though. To me. This is Matsushita Diner, though it looks odd. Likely an effect of the dementia. Then we need to help remind her. Do you think such a thing can be done? This diner means everything to Mayumi. I like how the air is just like full of flowers. <laughs> it's like Mayumi really likes flowers. If we do what we did last time, and reproduce the actions from Mayumi's memories, we could help her remember everything. Okay, we, we can't really cure dementia that way though, right? Is this what you call your intuition? I told you it was useful. I mean, we did cure Mizuki's aphonia, but that was more psychological? I feel like dementia's... Can be both psychological, but there's also some physical aspects that are like hindering the brain. Well, if we must. Somnium scan! Activate! Alright, mental lock one. Two, three, four. I'm guessing those are like the pieces of the diner that we have to fix. Five. All right. Reproduce Mamie's past action to invoke her lost memories. Find Mamie's lost memories sinking in the sustain. Signing 
door, clock calendar, swinging door, what to investigate first. A swinging door that leads to the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of expensive. Is there something that's a little cheaper? Let's see, calendar. A calendar. Oh, that's a five second one, but I also don't know what timey I get from that. Is there like another cheap interaction? A wall clock. Let me look at the calendar. A calendar. All right, today's date is. The calendar reads two months ago. Okay, I got a timey for that. the door. The sliding door at the entrance. Who could that be? Oh, there's someone behind it. Welcome, leave us alone, we're closed, or welcome back. Make it, should we make it a hearty, should we make it a hearty welcome back? Welcome back. Welcome back, Ota. You're late today. No. I'm home. Oh, Tess is just sullen boy. Are you not hungry? Today's dinner is omelet rice. Your favorite. Dad isn't back yet, but you can start eating. Again? Mm. I'm okay. I ate already. But... I'm fine. Wait. Aww. Poor Mayumi. <laughs> she just wants to be a good mom. Ota? Mm. Oh, the clock changed. Part of the diner has manifested. Yeah, that must have been... Is that the first mental lock? Maybe this is one of the memories she forgot. It must be important to her, though. It looks like a sad memory. It doesn't matter if it's sad. It's still important. Oh, that wasn't quite the first mental lock. Why? Can I look at the clock now? A wall clock. The time is. The hands have stopped. Stuck at 12 o'clock. Okay, we got another timey from that. Uh, ooh, we got two more things. Oh, <laughs> three more things. We got a beer poster, the menu, and a phone. I feel like the beer poster is not relevant. <laughs> Let me look at it. An old beer poster. Looks like me when I was young, or I could use a beer. That's expensive. I'm gonna leave the expensive options alone unless I have timies to use with it. One ramen, please. Let's come up with a new menu. I guess I could spare the half time you need to get the third timey. Let's come up with a new menu. Let's come up with a new menu. Sauteed matsutake and shiitake mushrooms. The matsushita set meal. 3,980 yen. What do you think? Just just mushrooms? I'm leaning toward now. The, too many mushrooms. Okay, that was Agent Date, you've got five minutes. That was definitely not the right thing to do. Oh, oh what? Phone's ringing. Do I ignore it again? It's the phone. Maybe try picking it up. Roger. Uh, da da da. Either dot 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 wrong number. My husband or to go order. Maybe it's her husband? That 
that's someone that you'd want to remember, My right? Husband. Yes, Matsushita Diner. Yes. Well, yes. Yes. Oh, this is not a good memory. Oh no, this is not a good memory. What? My, my husband! Mayumi. Why? How did this happen? Oh. Heard about Mr. Matsushita's death. Clock going backwards again. The diner has changed again. However, these memories aren't all happy, but they are all significant. If this continues, will it not have a negative effect on Mayumi? Maybe. We have to see this through. I know, we're, like, we're stirring up all these bad memories that she probably wanted to forget. We have to. Understood. Okay. Uh, let's see what autograph, bucket, cake. Autograph. Where's the autograph? Oh, the ones up autographs there. Autographs decorate the wall. Well, the right one is easy to, easy to interact with. Uh, that gives me a 10 second time you saw. I will grab that one. It's on the right. Mikimoto? Who is that? A photographer with some sort of beard like a mountain man? Mikoto? What? Is that a reference to something? Autographs decorate the wall. Uh, I guess I could actually use the timey to look at the other ones. Actually, let's look at the left one. Hongo. Who is that? Unknown. I can't picture the face. <laughs> hmm. These are some references I'm not getting. You've got four minutes. Uh, hopefully I can have enough time to play around. The wall. Uh, look, let's look at the middle one? Enoshima? Enoshima? Who is that? Unknown, but I hope we will find out. Okay. There's also two bears. On the drawing, I don't know if that's significant of of the autograph or what. Hmm. Okay. Uh, bucket. A bucket. <laughs> Do we wear the bucket? I'm not drinking that bucket water. Let's wear. Uh, I could- let's wear it! Do I actually wear it? Let's wear it. Let's wear it. <laughs> I was like, what? Iba, wear it. That's it, you weirdo! Roger. Wearing it, I suppose. That's- this is not gonna fix anything. <laughs> Ew. I feel as though my defense power has gone up. Do we- oh, do we get to wear this the whole Somnium? And? I am impervious to telepathic interference. Mm. You're afraid. I remember. I will never forget this, Date. <laughs> okay, now I have a bucket on my head. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the cake. A delicious cake. I wonder who it's for. Uh, thank you. Congratulations, Dad. Let's push your face at it. Or congratulations, Ota. 
I bet it's probably a birthday cake for Ota. I'm gonna guess. Congratulations, Ota! I'm just gonna have the bucket on my head the whole time. This is supposed to be a sad somnium. I'm home. Mm. Oh, he's still sullen as ever. Ota! No, oh, it's Takero. He's alive. Congratulations on getting into the university, son! Uh. Congratulations! Hooray! Congrats! Aww. Cheered for Ota. <laughs> That's a big hat. The clock is going backwards again. Ota was quite the spoiled child, wasn't he? He definitely had a lot of growing up to do. But that's what makes him so important to Mayumi. It's their, their only child. I see. Okay, for Ota's you dream. Have three minutes, Tate. The envelope just popped up. Did anything else pop up? No, we're still missing that corner of the diner. It's an envelope. Some kind of mail? Oh, is that like some sort of invoice? It looks like a looks like a bill. This is a bank statement. The Matsushita family's loan. Oh. They did go into debt to try to keep this place open. Uh, okay, let's, let's not burn it or throw it away. Let's forget about it. Let's take a break. Let's do our best. Hmm. This is a one second time before let's taking a break, but... Would it be better? I kind of want that one second timey. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Uh. I'm tired. Guess that's not it. But just ten more minutes. <laughs> Six more minutes, I promise. Six more minutes, the somnium's gonna run out. I said that's not it. When hell freezes over. Mm. I told you that's not it. Get up. Okay. That was definitely not it. A loan statement. Uh I guess I could use a one second timey. Let's let's do our best. I think I think that would that's what me and me would say. Try to be cheerful about it. Let's do our best. Keep supporting Ota. Okay. Hmm. We'll work harder for Ota's dream. <laughs> Determined to do my best. They really did everything for him. Ota was our world. Another painful memory. No, not quite. Are you certain? Mayumi was under a heavy burden of debt and stress running the diner. Yeah, but it was all for Ota. That's true. But sometimes hardship is worth it. Is that so? Alright. 
We got Odoroki Man sticker. Oh, there's a little eyeball there. What? Alright, we card day five, maybe may me B. Let's look at the Odoroki Man. Odoroki Man sticker. It's a sticker from a chocolate candy. Welcome home! Oh. Did you get it for me? It's ba it's baby Ota! It's child Ota! He still has the same posture. Looks like he has no neck. It? This is Ota when he was small? Mm, he kinda still dresses the same. He, li he likes his belts. Uh, set figure, chocolate, don't be selfish, or omelette rice? Uh, it's the Odoroki Man chocolate, right? Yeah, it's, it's the chocolate. Do you mean chocolate? Yeah, Odoroki Man, remember? Oh, that! Yes! Of course I bought it! Oh, <laughs> it's like it's... It's like when, like, I mean, when I was young, like, I always wanted Pokemon cards, and, like, my parents would, would, like, try to buy, buy, like, a pack or two just to, like, keep them happy. It's like the little things, like, that are, like, probably insignificant to, like, a grown-up, but, like, mean everything to a child. Man chocolate that you like. Oh, that's not Odoroki Man. No, it's like it's, also, it's like my mom's like, here, here's your Pokemon. It's like it's not Pokemon, Mom, it's Pokemon. Here you go. That's not it. Mm. Got him the wrong thing. Oh honey. I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. It's, it's, it's like Pokemon and Digimon. They look the same, but they're different. No, I told you. It's Odoroki Man. Oh, he's having a little kid tantrum. Oh. Sorry, your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. Gave the chocolate to Ota. She's trying her best. All these similarly named things with similar artwork. You're not just a dummy, you're a super dummy idiot! No, that's not nice, Ota. Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm a big dummy. Hmm. Don't let don't let him talk to you like that. I'll buy you a real Momonoki man soon. Uh oh. She does, still doesn't know the difference. Stupid! It's not Momonoki Man! It's Odoroki Man! I hate this! I hate you, Mom! Mm. That's not a nice thing to say. What? Wait, Ota! Uh, where did you go? Please, come out from hiding, Ota. Ota, I'm sorry. Mommy won't make any mistakes anymore, Ota. Ota, come back, Ota. Uh Oh, things are... Things are different. Ota? Takaro? Don't leave me! Don't leave me alone! I, I, I'm sorry, Ota! Takaro, I can't do this on my own. Do 
Don't leave me. So that's what happened. Date, look at what you've done. You know, we've stirred up some bad memories. They're not really relevant to the case, though. If Mayumi wakes up after all this trauma... I know it's risky, but we're here for a reason. What are you planning? We have to keep going. Just a little more to awaken her past. But... If she loves her family this much, there has to be something. There has to be a precious memory hidden deep within. Is that... your intuition? It is. I will never forget. Is there only the wall clock? Yeah, so this is in a dark place. There's only a wall clock here to interact with. A wall clock? Uh, turn back time or advance time? Do I want to... Hmm. Both of these are very expensive, so I could probably only do one. Um... I don't, I don't know if turning it back anymore would do any good. Um, uh, maybe that maybe we should bring her back to the present. Let's tr let's try this one. Sweetie! Mom! I... Uh, I... Uh... Huh. We know we can be a hassle sometimes, so... Huh. Ota! Yeah. matter what oh, forever and ever oh, oh, I'll never forget this oh. yeah we are a family we can do anything yes yeah looks like it's okay to go back now yes I agree by the way, Date. Hmm? I admit, it is useful every now and then. What is? Your intuition. <laughs> Alright, turn time forward. Never forget. Alright, we 
We got... We got Mayumi A for completing the Somnium. That was sweet. <laughs> Little bittersweet memories. Okay. Day 5 Tuesday. Central Hospital, Tuesday, 5.22 p.m. Did this... We didn't really learn anything new about... the case, but... May... what this... Ota, I'm so sorry for worrying you. Well, let's just see how this turns out. What do you mean? Your mother retracted her confession. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, yes. But mom, why did you think I did it? About that. I explained to Ota. On Sunday night, Mayumi was following the van driven by Ota in a taxi. But when the van was hijacked at the Fimitsu parking lot, Mayumi was at another convenience store nearby buying some chocolate. Because of that, she didn't see what happened. That's why Mayumi thought Ota was still in the van when it drove away. So she kept following it. The van drove all over Tokyo and eventually wound up in the warehouse district near the docks. Mimi got out of the taxi and followed the van on foot. The van was later found at the Yokiria Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Mimi walked into the warehouse and discovered the grisly scene. Bear plucking out Iris's left eye? Oh, is this is this when Mimi woke up from the Somnium? I was so terribly frightened. Oh, she saw that. I panicked and ran. I'm sure that's when I dropped the chocolate. And I ran away from the warehouse as fast as I could. I just kept running and running. But while I was running, I had a thought. Maybe that polar bear was Ota. Because at the time, I thought Ota was the one driving the van. If Ota brought Iris to the warehouse, then Ota must have been the one in the suit. That's what I was thinking, anyway. So that's why. I'm so sorry that Mom doubted you, Ota. No, no, I understand. It's my fault for making you worry. There's one thing I don't get. Why did you buy that chocolate when you were following me? Oh, because... It's the Odoroki Man chocolate you wanted as a kid. You liked Odoroki Man chocolate when you were young, right, Ota? Yeah. I was like the number one or two collector of the stickers in my elementary school class. I stuck some of my duplicates all around the diner, too. You and Mayumi have strong memories of that chocolate, right? Yeah. But I guess they're not all sweet memories. They're like chocolate, you know? Bittersweet. Makes my heart hurt a little. That's 
That's not it. Oh, honey. I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. <laughs> Mon Mon Momonoki. <laughs> no, I told you. It's Odoroki Man. Sounds so similar. It rhymes. Oh. Sorry, your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. You're not just a dummy, you're a super dummy idiot! Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm a big dummy. I'll buy you a real Momonoki man soon. Stupid! It's not Momonoki man, it's Odoroki man! After I yelled at her, Mom hmm. immediately went to buy me another chocolate. Oh, it's not a poem. Mom's a little bit of a pushover, but... My dad came back from buying some ingredients at the same time, and they ran into each other. My dad really let me have it. How dare you speak to your mother like that? Because Mom is stupid. You're stupid to call your mother stupid! Your mother bought you that to make you happy. You need to think about how she feels. I didn't raise you like that. But... but... When she comes back, you apologize. Do you understand? My dad told me to apologize as soon as mom came back. But the guilt... I hurt my mother, you know? That guilt in my heart, it didn't go away, even after I apologized to her. After that, things got awkward with Mom. But a few days later, my dad came up with an idea. Hey, Ota, how about this? You know Mother's Day is coming up. Why don't we get a gift for your mom, hmm? A gift? That was the first time I had ever heard my dad say something like that. You know how mom always takes care of us. We should think of a way to pay her back. I'm sure my dad was trying to clear the air between all of us. So, on Mother's Day, I used my New Year's money I saved up to buy my mom that flower knife. And my dad saved up a little money to buy the floral apron. And when mom got her gifts, she started bawling, like full-on crying. <laughs> oh, you boys! <laughs> she, they meant everything to her. <laughs> deserve all this. Thank you, thank you. Oh, for me, I mean, maybe such a little pure soul. You do deserve it, Mom. I'm proud that you're my mom. Right, Dad? Oh, um, uh... Yes, Mom is the best mom in the world. <laughs> Mm. Say cheese. Sorry. I lost track of time. What were we talking about again? About old memories. The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why she bought the chocolate in the middle of tailing you. Tailing? Do, you don't remember that? <laughs> uh oh. 
She probably thought she was buying Otoroki man chocolate for, like, little Ota, like, at that moment. Mom. It could be due to her memory disorder. It is possible that her thought process was once again short-circuited. Ota, I'm just going out on a limb here. Huh? Earlier I looked inside Mayumi's head. Inside her head? <laughs> I mean, we looked inside your head earlier too, Ota. Do you not remember that? He, like, put you to sleep. She was thinking of nothing but you. Her head was full of memories of you. Mayumi just wanted you to come back, Ota. So she bought that chocolate. The chocolate you loved as a kid. She thought she could get you back home with it. That's why I believe... In Mayumi's head, you're still young, Ota. Ah? Uh, oh. What? <laughs> this... Ota's not a baby boy anymore, even though he's a little shorty, but... I mean, he still kind of dresses like a kid, but... I don't know. I could be wrong. No, you're right, Date. That's why my mom bought the chocolate. She wanted her little kid back. Hmm. Let's see, I know I'm going on for a while, but... Let me see. Let me check out the flowchart. I have a feeling... Yeah, we are, we are... I think this might be the end. <laughs> this feels like the end of a path. So I kind of want to see it through. Uh... Let's see, let's take a look at what we unlocked in the Somnium. Haven't really gotten a chance to, like, pause for a bit. Take a look at Mayumi's... Let's see, this Mayumi A. The... F is Aiba drinking a beer? Let's see, Mayumi concept art is not, not really, like, any different colorations. And here's her husband and her son. <laughs> I guess their height relation. Ota takes after his mom. Height-wise. <laughs> and uh, I, I guess he inherited his dad's neck. Let's nice, take a look at Mayumi B. Da, da, da. Oh, birth little birthday cake, Aiba. Oh, and the, uh, are these the Odoroki Man stickers? This is the, the Mon Mononoke man. Some weird characters. Okay. How about... Oh, we did we did get a new person. The taxi driver. There's still four more people? Five more people we haven't seen yet. Hmm. Taxi driver. Tasushi Ibarado. He's male, age 54. Birthday's on November 23rd. Profession is taxi driver. He likes ghosts, doppelgangers, fists, saws, and chimneys. Oh, okay. Dislikes people who watch the map on their smartphones the whole ride. Oh, he doesn't like those those newfangled smartphones and their GPSs. Hobbies is multi-level marketing. Oh, that's why he wanted the, the the magazine about pyramid schemes. His skills are tails, sticking around, keeping things casual. And the overview. He is a taxi driver specializing in driving celebrities and entertainers. He has a special relationship with Lemnusgate and often drives their talent, which is why he was at their office at the time. Okay. Oh, there's no new appendix terms. I, I kind of want to finish off this route. Let me take a look around. The sunset is shining through the window. There's an LCD TV on top of the bedside table. Bedside table. A bed. I don't think there's anything. 
Equipment used for monitoring vital signs. It measures heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature on the monitor. A curtain used as a divider. It's a cupboard. And I don't think anything's gonna have a description, is it? A round chair. It, that's it. Okay. Alright, I guess I'll talk to Mayumi. Mayumi is sitting quietly. Let's talk to her. I'm sorry. Who are you again? Oh no, she's lost. I'm Date. I'm Ota's friend. No. Ota's friend. Okay, we're, not, we're no longer the baddies anymore. No longer bad cop. Is that right? Yeah, he, he did whack me on the head with a walk, but we're friends. And he also tased me another time like, Oh, too, we have some things we gotta settle, dude. I hope you two get along. Mm -hmm. I hope so, too. Oh, Mom. Don't hit me on the head anymore, Ota. Alright, that's it for Mayumi. Ota's sitting up on the bed. Alright, so what happens now? I was always so selfish. I made my mom go through such hard times. So from now on, I'm going to support her the way she supported me. I'll do anything. I'll deliver newspapers or be a janitor or anything. Oh, don't overwork yourself though, Ota. I'll work as hard as I can to make sure my mom can rest easy. What about your dream of being an author? Well, of course I'm not going to give up on that. But I'll set my sights a little smaller. I'll start by writing a short story. Let me read it when you're done. Of course. Alright, one last thing. Oh, I forgot to tell you something important. Something important? I heard the nurses talking before I came in here. Iris is awake. R really? Oh. So you, can we talk to her now? Yeah, she's due to be transferred from the ICU to the general ward. I wonder how she's doing with without her eye. Thank God. You saved her life, you know. Maybe, just maybe. Huh? Maybe what? Are, are you insinuating something, Date? That they're gonna get together? <laughs> Nothing. See you, kid. Maybe Iris will see you as a hero, Ota. Not just a Twitter hero, but... Or Twitter. But, like, an actual hero. Is Iris your girlfriend? Don't. Yeah, I'll introduce you next time. Uh, no. <laughs> She's a great girl. She's... Oh, so... oh my, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, is she going to be your financier? Oh, maybe I should clean up a bit first. Financer? Uh. Oh, fiance. Oh yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Jeez, mom. <laughs> 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 well, maybe Mamie will just forget about that conversation <laughs> in a little bit. Date, there are still many loose ends in this investigation. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we we still didn't figure out a lot of things. <sighs> Looks like another all-nighter. At least we we cleared out we cleared up Ota and Mayumi though. Like they're they are they're good. Oh, that was an ending. 
I got credits. <laughs> All right. Well, that was that was a cute, a cute ending. I was expecting to get credits. I thought I was just gonna like throw me back to the flowchart like it did before. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that path. That was it was sweet, but we yeah we did definitely clear up Ota and Miyumi. Somewhat Iris? I feel like there's still more questions about Iris. But obviously she couldn't have killed So if she was being hospitalized in the ICU, so she has an alibi for that. We don't have any more information on So other than we did we did kinda narrow down the time frame that he was killed though. But we actually found him in the freaking vase. That was that was a loose end that didn't go anywhere. <laughs> we'll have to see where where that goes. Although if we put it together with the other path we did, we we did have that video of boss. Of boss shooting so, so. And we have no idea where she is. She kinda just disappears on Tuesday, it seems like. Yeah, right? Yeah, she wasn't in the Mayumi Somnium. We were only talking to Pewter. Alright, so we still got more questions about where everyone was at certain times. Oh, these are all the voice actors. I wonder how long these credits are. How many people are responsible for this game? <laughs> I'm glad I, I- I know it's like a little bit long, but I, I'm glad I saw that through to the end. Figured that we were kind of getting- getting close to the end of something. So in the next episode, I think so, we'll backtrack again. When was the last branch that we did? Last time we went back to Irish Insomnium and we, we went down to this branch. I think Ota also had another branch in his Somnium. So we have to go back there and try the other option and see where that takes us. Maybe we'll learn a little bit more. I wonder how different it will be. I feel like this, this path is all about Ota. I don't know if the other the other branch in Ota Somnium will tell us more about Ota or, or something else. This is a really good game. <laughs> I like this game. At first I was kind of weirded out by like the 3D models and stuff, but... The facial expressions and everything are, are pretty good and the voice acting is pretty spot on. So I am enjoying this very much. Do, do, do. Are we at the end? Oh, my controller went to sleep. <laughs> Kidok. Oh, all right. We're still, we're still here. Police headquarters, Tuesday, ten thirty-one p.m. Huh. My boss is here. Has there been any progress in this Jima investigation? Hmm. Should I keep going or? I feel like we're very close to like finishing up this section of the flowchart. Let's see. Maybe maybe it's just like a few conversations. None. Zero clue. I don't trust you, boss. I we know you did something very sus in the other path, so not exactly. We have two clues. Two? Two points of information. But they may not connect directly to the murders. What are the two clues? Point one. This may be easier to see than explain. I sent a video to the boss's PC. Okay. Could you check there, please? Uh, can we look at her other files on her PC, please, Iva? 
Boss went to her desk and moved her mouse. I stood next to her and looked at the monitor. What's this? It's from Sunday night. What? What happened that night again? I just like getting so confused about like who got killed when. Yes. After Date was beaten by Ota at Matsushita Diner. Oh, thanks. Tessa, wait. Oh, it's this. Uh, I'll get the car. It's this video. You witch! There, stop it. I noticed this earlier as well. Do you see the walk on the floor beside Iris and Mayumi? Yeah, what about it? Look closely. The bottom part is curved. Do you notice anything in the reflection? Iris and Mayumi? Yes. I have prepared an enlarged and processed version of the image. Boss, the next video. <laughs> Enhanced. You witch! You you stay away from my boy. Tessa! What's wrong? Did something happen? No. Everything's fine. Iris took the knife. Hey, okay, let's go. Ota. That's how the knife got there. Iris took it with her. Hey, what's this? Iris has the kitchen knife? The video continues, but this should be enough. Iris took the knife and left the diner with Ota. But if Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear had the kitchen knife. Did the polar bear get it from Iris? That, that would have to be the case, right? Who was in the polar bear outfit? Maybe it was taken off of Iris when she was kidnapped. At the Femisto parking lot? Whatever. We can think about it later. You said you had two clues. Yeah, what's the other one? I have learned new information. More thorough autopsy results of Renju's body have revealed something. An object in his intestines. An object? A clump of organic matter. Because it was partially digested, it took significant time to analyze. Well, what was it? What was it, Iba? What did he eat? Why is everyone pausing? Shoko Nadami's eyeball. Ooh! So that's where the eyes went? Did he... oh... Oh, to the route, end. Are... Are the eyes of the previous victim... shoved in, like, the new victim? Uh, what? Or, I guess I'll say... <laughs> Ew, that's freaking gross. Or they, uh, it was partially digested too, so he would have had to have been alive when he ate it, right? Otherwise, it would have just been kind of stuck in his esophagus. All right, let's save over this file, the least recent one.
Okay. <laughs> All right, so we just finished Ota's route. I don't know what to do with this information <laughs> that we were given. So, all right. In the next episode, we we'll do some thinking. But in the next episode, we'll, we'll go back to sinking in the Swain, right? This is where it splits off again. This leads to another path that we haven't discovered yet. All right. Well, I hope you guys are having a fun time with this, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.